Uh, this past Thursday in our Jesus Loves Me group, we studied the, uh, the story of Palm Sunday, where Jesus, the creator of the stars and the king of the universe, rides into Jerusalem humbly on a donkey. So I, I told him I'd save this story for, for today. So here it is, so I can share it with all of you. So let's pretend that it's Palm Monday now, all right? This Holy Week is not Palm Sunday anymore. It's the Monday, it's the day after. And Jesus rode this, this young donkey into Jerusalem, right? And people waved and sang, and they th threw their garments down, and they waved palm branches, right? And so that donkey wakes up on Monday morning, and it's had the best sleep ever, and this young donkey is just so excited, just filled with pleasure and pride, and I was the donkey that Jesus rode into Jerusalem. I'm going to go into town, and I'm going to show myself to them. And the young donkey struts into town. He says, I think I'll go to the well where everyone will be waiting for me. He walks to the well and he says, here I am. That's what pride says when it enters a room. Humility when it enters a room says, there you are. Pride when it enters a room says, here I am. And the young donkey said, here I am. Nobody noticed. He said, your garments throw your garments down and they looked at him like he's really weird especially a talking donkey right so someone slapped him on the tail and said move on little donkey <sighs> they don't know who they're talking to don't they realize who i am i will go to the marketplace the young donkey thinks because that's where the smart people are that's where the good people are at the marketplace not like these well people and he struts off to the marketplace and he enters the marketplace and he says here i am they don't they, everybody keeps talking to each other they don't notice they keep buying and selling and he gets a little perturbed he still don't they understand who i am he said the, the palm branches like yesterday the palm branches where are the palm branches throw the palm branches down and they look at him like he's strange especially because he's a talking donkey they slap him on the tail and they say move on young donkey <sighs> he walks back home with his tail between his legs and goes to mom with tears in his eyes mom they just don't understand it's not they're not the same people that they were yesterday something is so wrong with those people i'm not sure if those people and his mom says oh foolish child don't you realize that without Jesus, you are nothing? How can a person like Moses be so great and yet so small? How can a CEO of a successful company be, be so in charge and so leading the way and yet so down to earth and humble and, and kind? How can you get ahead in life and yet at the same time practice humility. All of those are possible with those who have the humility of Moses. And the humility of Moses, let me tell you this, humility has a lot to do with confidence. Proud people are not confident, they are insecure. Humble people are secure and confident. You are secure and confident when you're a donkey and the Lord is riding on you. You're insecure when he's not even on your radar. You see that? 